So tell me if any of these things apply to your baby. Do you ever find that your baby struggles to open a wide mouth when you're trying to get them to latch and you just can't get it to look like those pictures of a baby latching on? Do you find that they will open their mouth and then very quickly shut it again before you can actually get them onto the breast? Do you see that your baby has a preference as to which way they turn their head? So whenever you lay them down or they're asleep, you always see them turning their head to one side rather than the other. Or when they're upright or sitting in um, a bounce or a rocker, do you notice that they're always slumping their head towards one side like this? All of these things are indicators that your baby might have muscular tension and restrictions, which are potentially impacted on their feeding. So what I'm gonna take you through today are some simple exercises that you can start doing at home with your baby to help release some of this tension. So we talk a lot about tongue tie and tongue function and the impact that that has on how well your baby can latch. But actually, if we've got muscular restrictions, particularly through the muscles in the jaw and down through the neck, this has a really big impact on how deeply your baby can latch, how comfortable feeding is for you, and also how effectively they can feed. Now, some babies will benefit from also having the input of a professional like a craniosacral osteopath. And as lactation consultants, we often work quite closely with them because it goes part and parcel with releasing that tension, improving function of the tongue, improving the function of the muscles, adjusting how we're positioning and latching them to really finish off that whole picture of getting them latching deeper and feeding more effectively. But you can start with these exercises at home on your own to help work on releasing that. So let's dive into what to do. So here's a few simple exercises you can do. The first one is some jaw massage. So this is going to really work releasing the muscles on the jaw down here, allow your baby to open their mouth wider and to be able to comfortably hold it open. So if you see that your baby will open a wide mouth and they very quickly close it before you can manage to pull them in and latch them on, this indicates to us that there's some tension there. It's a little bit like for you, if you go to do an exercise that you're not used to doing. You can probably hold it for a short period of time and then those muscles fatigue, it gets too sore and too painful and you have to let go and relax. And that's the same as what your baby's doing with their jaw. They're able to open it and hold it for a short period and then it's too sore, too much effort for them and they relax back down again. So what you can start with is doing some jaw massage. So lay your baby on the flat surface in front of you. Place a finger on one side of their cheek and thumb on the other side. And you wanna aim for right where that upper and lower jaw meets, so right where that little triangle point is there. And what you're doing is just working in a circular motion, massaging back and pulling forward. Gentle pressure there, and what you should see as you do it is that your baby's lower jaw starts to drop as you're pushing in and putting that pressure on. When you're doing it, you're really aiming for right back here on your baby's jaw. So right where we have upper jaw and lower jaw, right in that spot there is what we're wanting to do. And just working in that circular motion on both cheeks. You're not actually moving your fingers across the skin, so you're putting them in one spot and just working in a circular motion. So you don't need to use um, any oil or cream or anything like that on your hands. And it's best not to use anything when we're working near baby's face so that they don't get anything in their mouth. The next exercise that we can do is gonna work on these muscles through the neck here and work on helping to stretch these and just relax any of that tension. So what you can do is some head turns. So once again, lay your baby on a flat surface. It's great if you can have them directly in front of you with their feet towards you and their head away so that in order to look straight at you, they're putting their head in that neutral position. So that's the first thing that you wanna start by doing. Place a palm on either side of baby's head and just bring their head into that neutral position. Then what we're going to do very gently is turn their head towards one side just until you start to feel resistance. So we're not forcing it, we're just gently guiding it until you feel resistance from your baby, coming back to center and then doing the same thing over to the other side and repeating this process. The next thing that you can do is called a guppy stretch. Now this one is fantastic for releasing all this tension here, especially for those little babies who've had a lot of pressure put on there through something like a forceps or a vacuum birth. We really wanna work on relaxing that. Now, lots of people will talk to you about tummy time as being a great stretch for those neck muscles. Tummy time has its place and that's really important. 
But in this situation, what we're wanting to do is really relax that tension. Tummy time actually requires your baby to really work and use those muscles to hold their head up. And that's not necessarily the best approach when we're trying to get rid of tension. What we want to do is relax while we stretch those muscles. And that's where a guppy stretch comes into play. So what you want to do is place your baby over your lap. So we're going to position their head on sort of towards one leg, their feet towards the other side. And you want to line up your baby's shoulders with the edge of your thigh. And then what you're going to allow them to do is just to flop their head back off the edge of your leg. Now you're welcome to place a hand just underneath their head for a little bit of support and just to make yourself feel more confident that they're not going to go flying off. I always like to do this either sitting on the floor or a very, very low chair. So if your baby does wriggle, we don't have to worry about them falling very far. And what we should see is that baby then starts to turn their head from side to side. Now you'll see with very young babies, they'll very easily relax back because they haven't got that neck control. If you're using the stretch with older babies, you'll find they might instinctively try to clench their core and hold their head up. And you might need to just give them a little bit of um, massage or reassurance on their tummy just to relax those muscles and let them relax back. You can also implement a toy so you can use something that makes a noise or something they like looking at and just very slowly move that from one side to the other to encourage them while they're in that relaxed stretching position to turn the head one way or the other. Now the last thing I want to mention to you is not a specific stretch but it's something that you can change about your daily routine every single day which is going to really help especially if your baby is showing that head preference. So either that they're always turning to one side when they're at rest or when they're sleeping or you see your baby's always doing this. What you want to do is hack how you are sleeping them, changing them, feeding them, burping them to encourage their head to their least preferred side. So the first thing you want to do is start putting them the other way on their change mat so that rather than looking towards their preferred side to look towards you or whatever they like to look at, they're turning in the other direction. The next thing you want to do is do the same thing in their bed. So if they prefer to look towards you, start putting them with their head at the other end of the bed so they have to look to their least preferred side to find you. You can do the same thing when they're on their play mat. If they have a favorite toy, move it to the other side. If they like looking at the window, turn their play mat around. So we're just constantly encouraging that head back in the other direction. Same thing when you're burping your baby. We all tend to instinctively always put them over one shoulder, which encourages them to look out in that one direction. So try switching it up and putting them on the other side. And especially for bottle feeding babies, where we're not getting that change of which side they're feeding on, try to hold them in the opposite arm each time you feed so that they're having to turn slightly to the other side and we're getting that variation there for them. I'll leave links down below to some other videos which you'll find helpful in terms of improving your latch and eliminating pain there. And also make sure that you are following on Instagram at Alyssa Brown IBCLC so that you can pick up on daily breastfeeding tips and advice.